42 consecutive wins, as well as several curiously long absences from the ring, Floyd Mayweather has built a reputation as arguably the finest fighter of his generation, as well as one of the greatest defenders in the history of the ring. Let's take a look at some of Floyd Mayweather's greatest hits. December 1998, 21-year-old Mayweather made his first career title defense, putting his super featherweight belt on the line against Angel Manfredi. Mayweather wasted little time attacking in the second round. Mayweather with a right over the top stuns Manfredi. Manfredi in trouble as Mayweather pounds away. Manfredi almost went down. He won't take a knee, but he isn't throwing back. Mayweather pounding, pounding, and this one's gonna be stuck. And Floyd Mayweather Jr. has another big, stunning victory to cap off his rise to stardom. June 2005, having conquered two weight classes, a confident Floyd Mayweather set his sights on Arturo Gatti for a 140-pound title. Mayweather ruled the action from the opening bell. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed, maybe too much power too. There's a vicious right hand over the top. He promised he would humiliate Arturo Gatti before his fans. It's getting brutal in there as Mayweather fires at will. Mayweather captured the title with a technical knockout in the sixth round. May 2007, boxing's most publicized prize fight in recent years as Mayweather met Oscar De La Hoya. It was clear early De La Hoya wanted to make it a brawl. And he lands the right cross across the top. And for the first time in the fight, Mayweather looks genuinely on the defensive. There are the body shots, and there is a sustained attack to the body like nothing you've seen in De La Hoya's career. Although De La Hoya was the busier fighter in the early rounds, Mayweather was never hurt. And as the fight went on, Floyd's quicker reflexes began to surface. Good quick left hook inside by Mayweather and a big right hand upstairs by Floyd. Biggest shot of the night for Mayweather. And Mayweather is trying to knock Oscar out with a right hand. Mayweather beginning to operate like a surgeon. Fighting Floyd Mayweather is a dose of cold reality. And where does Mayweather go from this pinnacle after claiming that he's going to retire? They fight to the finish and please the crowd. To the dismay of the almost unanimously pro Delaware crowd, Mayweather was awarded the split decision victory. December 2007, another Mayweather super fight, this time against Ricky Hatton. In a matchup of undefeated welterweights, Hatton began on the offensive and had Mayweather on his heels. Floyd adjusted to the brawling tactics and began to land his right hand counterpunch at will. Hard right hand by Mayweather. And there's a cut over Ricky Hatton's right eye. Big cut. It was from the right hand shot. Hatton grew frustrated with his inability to hurt Mayweather and opened himself up to serious damage. Straight right hand seemed momentarily to stun Hatton. Good quick left hook by Mayweather as Hatton came in. Sometimes it's the right hand, sometimes it's the left hook. Huge round for Mayweather here in the eighth. Mayweather believes he's got Hatton in big trouble. Hatton continued to come forward and allowed Mayweather to close in emphatic fashion. What a left hook. What a perfect shot. This fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has a knockout victory over Ricky Hatton. September 2009, after a retirement that had kept him out of the ring for 21 months, Mayweather was back to face Juan Manuel Marquez. Floyd picked up right where he had left off. And there's a knockdown on a left hook. Excellent left hook, and Marquez walked right into it. Bigger, quicker, better man, winning every exchange. So much for ring rust. Round by round, it became clear the smaller Marquez could not deal with the speed and power of Mayweather's punches. And he is punishing Juan Manuel Marquez in this round. Brilliant combination by Mayweather. If that didn't hurt Marquez, I'm not sure what would. This is the kind of performance that will convince many that Floyd is still the best fighter in the world. What a return to the sport. 21 months off, and he's better than ever. In dominant fashion, Mayweather rolled to the unanimous decision victory. May 2010, a matchup years in the making became reality. Mayweather taking on 
full-fledged welterweight Shane Mosley. The second round found Mayweather in an unfamiliar spot. There's a hard right hand. And that may be the hardest punch that Floyd Mayweather has taken in recent years. There's another right hand. Shane Mosley has brought the crowd into the fight. Another big right hand. Mayweather's knees buckled on the second right hand. I think he's hurt. He's going to sit in his legs. The legs don't lie. But from round three onward, Mayweather got into his rhythm, controlling the pace, attacking with precision. That was a stunning shot from Mayweather right on the button. Another stunning right hand by Mayweather and a big left hook. He's landing shots cleanly inside. Floors are very much more compact and more powerful. With each passing round, Mayweather's advantages in quickness and timing became more pronounced. Shane can't have the speed and the coordination of Mayweather. Is that simple? Floyd Mayweather's skill level, Floyd Mayweather's conditioning, Floyd Mayweather's application to the sport is at this moment unique. And he stands alone. September 2011, Mayweather faced off with young, hard-punching southpaw Victor Ortiz. Mayweather showcased his quickness in the opening round. Tremendously accurate with that right-hand lead. He's landed three or four of them on the button. A good round for Floyd, but Ortiz didn't look out classed completely. While Ortiz had some success pushing the action to the corners, Mayweather never seemed flustered. And Mayweather looks like, I have him, I'm gonna just chop him down systematically. Florida's fighting a beautiful fight right now. Round four would quickly become one of the most controversial rounds in recent memory. And Victor Ortiz lands the right hook. He got one in there, and he lands another one, and a big left. And Ortiz is ripping Mayweather against the ropes. He seems to feel the urgency. Pushing Mayweather back against the ropes, jumping on him. Cortez calling timeout, and he's going to penalize Ortiz for butting. Defend yourself at all times. It was legal. It was legal. And it's officially a KO. Ortiz was apologizing, and Mayweather was punching. We can all say, as exciting in the ring as he has been outside the ring.